Hello and welcome back to another video of Calc Nerd. So today's video is going to be in a snake program. It's just like the classic game of snake where uh, you have a little snake and it has to eat like an apple or whatever. And uh, you go around the screen and you get that and it grows your snake and you try to see how long uh, you can get your snake uh, without hitting yourself. Um, because this one, if you do go off one edge, it'll take you to the other edge. Um, this is actually um, some of the code that Calcutron uses. Um, he has a really great uh, channel, so I hope you do check that out. Um, he does a really good job explaining TI Basic for beginners. He has like a whole series on that. And he also has uh, some really cool things on his channel. So I hope you do check that out. There will be a link in the description. Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, what Program Snake is like. And I did add a little bit... Uh, of my stuff so it wouldn't be exactly like Calcutron's program. So, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna open up a uh, program snake right here. Okay, as you can see, it'll give me a little snake and the star is the thing you're supposed to eat. So you go around and I got lucky there, it spawned a couple right next to me. Um, and I'm going to hit myself. And as you can see, it does X's and then it also uh, erases the X's. That's one of the parts that I implemented and I changed just a little bit of the code around um, as well. But it's a really solid game. Um, it's kind of like the classic uh, thing uh, for Snake. So uh, I hope you do enjoy this. Uh, don't worry. I will show you how to, you can program this on your calculator. And uh, I'm going to just play it a couple more times just so you can get a little bit more of an idea of what it looks like. And we're going to see how long of a snake that I can get. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you can program this into your own calculator. Um, so remember, you go over to New to create a new program, and I'm just going to go to Edit um, to edit the program because I already have it made. So click Enter, and now you're, I'm going to show you how you can program this on your own calculator. Um, it probably won't work on stuff older than the TI-83+, Plus, but I'm not sure on that. Um, and pretty much every calculator newer than the TI-83 Plus, plus excuse me, uh, this should work on. Um, so don't take my word on that for sure, but I'm almost positive that it will work because the OS will be newer and it just should work. Okay, so clear home. Delver matrix A, 8 comma 16 storing the dimensions of matrix A. And remember to find stuff with matrix, you click second and x to the negative first. This is where you find the all the matrix. Uh, I believe it's, yes, a to j. And then over in math, you find like uh, two is the transpose operator. Um, I used that in my 2048 video. Um, so I hope you do check that one out. It's another really fun uh, game. And you also find dimensions, which is uh, what is used right here. The store button, remember, is this sto arrow uh, button. So that is what's used here and pretty much in all of those right there. And then program is where you find uh, normal commands. So you click the program and you can scroll up and down. And so this is where if then, else, for, while, repeat, end. And then there's also more if you keep going down. Uh, that's what that little arrow is for. Then in input output, which is IO, uh, that's what it stands for, uh, input and output. Uh, you have input and then output down here, stuff like prompt, display, get key, uh, all of that is, or well, actually prompt isn't used in here, but a lot of this stuff uh, is used in here and that's where you find it. And if you cannot find something, remember you use second and zero to take you to the catalog. And this catalog is a list of, alphabetical list of everything in the calculator. So let's say I want something that is in the ends. I click the button that corresponds with N, and there you go. It takes me to the right spot where the ends are. So I'm gonna click clear to uh, get out of that little menu there, and I'm going to continue on with the program. Okay, eight store into X, four store into Y, three store into L, three store into D, nine store into A, four store into D, seven store into S, and four store into T. 
Uh, D is stored in the matrix A at T comma S. Repeat until K is equal to 45 or matrix A at Y comma X. Output uh, B comma A comma quote A. Uh, it's a multiplication symbol. Uh, I call it like the asterisk because that's what it looks like. And then output at Y comma X comma quote in O, the capital letter O. And don't worry, I will explain some of this code later as well, and I will explain how this actually works. Um, like I said, this is actually Calcutron's uh, actual program. I just added a little bit of stuff to make it a little bit unique to me. Um, so I hope you do check his video out. It's a really good video, and he explains how everything works really, really well. So I hope you do check that out. And remember, there will be a link in the description. Okay, and then D store in a matrix A at Y comma X. X plus D is equal to 3 minus D is equal to 1. Answer plus 16. And then remember, PEMDAS stuff still does work here. So because there's stuff inside the parentheses, it'll evaluate that first, which is why there's two parentheses, not just one. So answer equals 0 minus answer is equal to 17 store into X y plus d is equal to 4 minus d is equal to 2 answer plus 8 two parentheses uh answer is equal to 0 minus answer is equal to 9 store into y if a is equal to x and b is equal to y then so basically if the position of the snake's head not the tail uh, but the head is equal to whatever wherever the food was or i like to call it the apple um then I have to find a new position, so that's why I'm uh, doing a rand int uh, into A and B. And so now that I've found my new position, I also need to add one to the length of the snake. So that's what L plus one store to L is for. Otherwise, output T comma S comma quote a space, uh, matrix A at T comma S store to E, uh, zero store in the matrix A at T comma S, S plus E is equal to three minus E is equal to one, uh, answer plus 16 and then two parentheses answer my equals zero minus answer is equal to 17 store into s and t plus e is equal to four minus e is equal to two answer plus eight and then two parentheses answer is equal to zero and then equal to nine so that's just setting the boundaries basically and gets get key store into k k is equal to 34 or one is greater than absolute value of k minus 25 sum k is equal to 24 or greater than or equal to 24 comma 25 comma 26 comma 34 store into d end and then this that was the end of the actual snake program and then here's the stuff that i added t store into y s store into x for a comma 1 comma l matrix a at t comma s store into b output t comma s comma quote x t plus b is equal to 4 minus b is equal to 2 Answer plus 8, two parentheses, answer is equal to 0, minus answer is equal to 9, store into T. S plus B is equal to 3, minus B is equal to 1. Answer plus 16, and then two parentheses, answer is equal to 0, minus answer is equal to 17, store into S, N. And then basically I do the exact same thing. So I'm not going to talk about this because it's the exact same thing. It's just outputting a space instead. Um, so as you can see the same stuff and uh, then I have display score and then display L so your length. Now I'll go back to this. Uh, remember you can pause to look at this code right here. So this is the end of the first one and then it continues on right here. And I'll just go through that once more just to make sure that you got it. Okay, so basically I'm going to now show you just a little bit. Um, I recommend you do check out Calcutron's tutorial um, on snake um, because it's a great explanation. Um, it's what I watched um, to figure out a really good program for snake. It's a great one. So basically um, It's using a sum k thing. So if sum, or it's actually just sum uh, k is equal to 24 25 26 34 So any of the arrow keys and it's greater than or equal to so it's creating a list and this list is basically a zero, 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 and then if I click 34, it'd be a one, but it's actually doing four because um, it's a greater than or equal to. And so that's how it figures out the direction and keeps storing it so you go the same way 
if you're not clicking a key, which is what makes Snake a really cool game. So that is the gist of the Snake game. Um, it's a really easy game to program, a really fun one to play. I hope you did enjoy today's video. Um, I hope you like and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, a thank you to everyone who is subscribed. It helps me out a lot, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Uh, thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.